say this isn't an isolated incident, saying that they have had issues with discolored water in the past. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto spoke with not only the residents, but also we reached out to the water utility to get to the bottom of it. She joins us now live. Skylar, what have we learned so far? Well, Andy and Monica, according to some Santa Teresa residents, this isn't the first time that they've dealt with these water issues. Now, one resident even telling me that she doesn't trust CRUA, and that's the Camino Real Regional Utility Authority, and what they have to say regarding their water issues. It's coming out yellow. Uh, it's kind of like creamy, but it, it's always been like that. On Tuesday, Santa Teresa and Sunland Park residents noticed discolored water and the Camino Real Regional Utility Authority reported that it was safe to drink. A few days later, the so-called problem still existed. It's nothing new, like I've been there for four months and it's always been like that. Another resident says they had the same water problems less than six months ago. Back in November, we had water that was slimy to the touch. It was also high in pH, it was yellow, it was tested, um, it wasn't okay to drink or take a bath in. We were told by the city three or four days later, we got an emergency notification through our phone saying that we shouldn't even be washing our dishes in this water. Molina says the water is coming out the same way. Although it is yellow, so it took them three, four or five days for them to send us a notification that it wasn't safe to us to drink. And now it's kind of upsetting that they expect us to trust them. According to the Crua website, these occurrences are not uncommon. Saying in part, quote, it happens when mineral deposits like iron and manganese are shaken up into the water piping, end quote. They also stated that bacterial samples were tested and in part, quote, Results came back negative for bacterial detection, end quote. And with the lack of trust between the utility and residents, they are taking matters into their own hands. I am purchasing water bottles. I can't shower or I don't feel comfortable showering here, so um, I'm having to go with family. Now, Molina also says that if nothing changes, possibly moving is going to be an option for her. And Skylar, I know that another part of New Mexico is also facing a very similar issue. This in Doniana County, specifically at Gadsden High School. Is that the same water utility handling this? Monica, it's not. Actually, Anthony Water and Sanitation is in charge of the high school, and I spoke with the superintendent this afternoon, and he says the water issue uh, has been cleared and there is no more discoloration. And during the issue, they were providing easily accessible water stations for the students at any time. And as a precaution, they will continue into next week. Back to you. Skylar, thank you very much.